Well, uh, LTE and BMS open a lot of new service possibilities. So the traditional one is the broadcast of live TV channels. But uh, we can also broadcast some live event, like a big show or soccer game. And uh, you can do it in a very special way. You can put uh, like uh, different cameras. So use it user can see the show from different angles, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, at the same time, you can use this efficient channel to push and user some hot content. You can push news, you can push video, you can push uh, advertisement, uh, or information like stocks, weathers, road conditions. So you can use this efficient channel to push and reach your end users. For applications, you can receive a list of several applications. And then the users can just click and select the ones they want to download. LTE and BMS open a lot of these uh, new possibilities. And operators can charge, not only by traffic, but uh, they can monetize the content. They can use their network for advertisement. And uh, they can charge by time of the day. So different uh, business models uh, can be established. Interesting. So give me some predictions. What impact can we predict that this is going to have on revenues? So we are studying uh, this topic with the operators and uh, we joined efforts to, to, to make some estimations and predictions on that. And we have done several uh, business cases. In one of them in Asia, this shows that in five years, once the LTE penetration and uh, once the LTE devices, they are becoming more and more popular. In five years, cumulative, we are going to have an impact equivalent to about 20% in data revenue. So first of all, let's talk about the drivers for LTE broadcast. We see that uh, the traffic is keep uh, growing and that the video traffic by 2017 is going to be over 70% of the whole mobile traffic. So Huawei is uh, a leading end-to-end -end solution provider for LTE broadcast in both the LTE FDD and uh, TDD systems. We, we were the first company to demonstrate LTE broadcast services in India by January 2012. And uh, last year, we bring uh, LTE and BMS uh, in Mobile World Congress together with China Mobile. Okay? And we establish many POC and trials with leading operators globally. So we are uh, pushing the whole ecosystem forward. We are discussing and taking this to our customers. We are cooperating with the device industry, with the standardization entities to bring this uh, service to the market uh, faster. And um, we have uh, a mature middleware that's, being, that's built on top of our modem, that's being used by device vendors and other people to build um, LTE broadcast applications already. Again, it's very stable, it's very flexible, it's widely available. Um, and it supports some, uh, some uh, of the, the critical technologies that we need for mobile broadcast to be a success. Um, so talk about uh, EMBS. Um, it will be wrong just to say EMBS as um, MO service. Mm -hmm. Actually, EMBS is a video ecosystem. If we can build an open platform for EMBS, it will make EMBS just not only saving cost, but also provide a profitable business mode. First of all, with this open platform, matured IPTV and mobile content developer mode can directly adopt. It definitely reduce time to market and save the service introduction cost. Secondly, with this open platform and mobile IP broadcasting capacity, EMBS can create widely range of innovative services. We have a complete uh, solution end to end, including our own chipsets and devices. We have already showed this uh, during MWC last year, and in half two, we introduced these end to end solutions uh, to some of our customers. Trust, the trust will transfer to use 
and renounce, and finally transfer to operator revenue. Okay, well, it sounds like it's a win-win-win-win situation. There certainly have to be some sort of risks involved. What do operators need to do to ensure success? First of all, operators should not only take care about the awareness part. They should ensure they build enough backhaul and core network to support not only traffic growth with video while maintaining customer appearance. Secondly, it is not just about network. Operators should build content integration platform to ensure customer appearance. Okay. For sure, there are two more operators who run commercial services using devices built on our on our chips um, in the early part of 2014 and multiple ongoing trials. We talked about Verizon, we talked about Telstra. We, it, we were just counting up sort of quickly last night and we got to eight uh, operator trials that were engaged in just in the first part of this year. And it, it just while I've been sitting here this morning, I've got someone else emailing me and texting me saying, come and talk to this operator about doing another trial. When are we going to have devices? What are we going to be able to do? Operator can cooperate with OTT players to build up beneficial ecosystem. And third, like what is happening in IPTV, operators also should prepare CDN, powerful CDN to guarantee user experience. So we see flexible content integrated platform Powerful CDN and the sufficient backhaul are the critical success factors in LTE video competition.